Hey, what's up, everybody? Everything sound all right here? Move this over. Nice to see you guys today on Saturday. Also, what's up, Instagram, TikTok? Nice to see everyone. I can see your comments here on YouTube uh, and Facebook. So that's what I can see. I don't have my... My friend Brian's not here today. He's got family stuff doing that he's doing. Uh, so I've got... Looking at as many comments as I can see, but I wanted to show you guys a few things. So one really exciting news yesterday, I officially finished shooting a brand new Hendrix inspired techniques course. So that's why I picked that topic for today because it's fresh on my mind. I just finished it. I mean, I think it's going to be like close to 20 hours of instruction. So if you want, if you're excited about that, which I hope you are. And it helps me, and hopefully it helps you as well. Uh, you can sign my newsletter at martymusic.com, and I'm going to notify people when it is actually available. I got to like get the tabs to be finished, and I got to upload it, and you know, do all the little kind of particulars. But you can sign the newsletter at martymusic.com, and I will let you know when it's ready. And I'm going to just give you a taste of some kind of Hendrixy kind of techniques that are definitely in that course, and I'm going to break that down today for you uh so just looking at your comments here still uh garrick pridemore thank you mike johns joe mama of course wants to know james hetfield or kirk hammett that's an easy one uh but what's the question uh let's see because I, I have a feeling Kirk Hammett's much probably much more mellow guy to hang out with. So are you saying, who do you want to hang out with? James Hetfield, obviously, you know, is much more important to the music of Metallica and, you know, is the kind of heart and soul of Metallica. So he's obviously super important for that. Anyway, let me get to the H Hendrix techniques here. First thing I'm going to just talk about, I'm going to take a b basic chord progression. C... A C bar chord here, and then a whole step down, so B flat, and then an F major. So, that's the core, but you can Hendrixify it, and I don't know if I've ever said that word before, but check it out. The C major bar chord right here, that note on the B string, is an E note. It's the major third of that C major chord. You can also see it in this chord. Well, you can take that voicing, but then put that E note in, as the lowest note in the bass, and it becomes what's called an inversion. Slade and Shreds wants a shout out. Okay, so so instead of playing a C major chord, you can bar across that fifth fret and hammer that A string. But you can also hammer the D string, the G string. You have the pentatonic shape underneath that. So instead of playing, you can play... You can improvise around that sound. So remember I said the next chord's B flat. Yeah, anyone, uh, you guys hear me all right on uh, out there? I can adjust the volume if needed, but so, uh, but I have to do it by myself. So I'd like, I prefer to get this thought out here. Okay, so C major, B flat is just the whole step down, so now you have this. And then where would it be for F? Well, the F major bar chord would be right here. So that would be the F major chord barred across the eighth fret with that tenth fret there. That inversion looks like this. Bar across 
the ninth fret and hammer that A string. So when you put those together, instead of just with that one new substitution, you can do this. So I didn't, you, you can, now if we have a bar chord and this new inversion and the other chord, now you can combine them. So that last time there, I just did F, right? So you can combine those ideas like So now I just added another idea. So so for every bar chord like that E shape, instead you could do this classic uh you know, brown-eyed girl kind of thing. So that's off the F chord. So now I have a second idea. regular B flat and now to the F right here regular C right there because it was close by so real quick I just want to emphasize the basic concept here is anytime you have that bar chord oh, drop my pick anytime you have that bar chord with the root on the A string play the third in the bass and now you get this sound and then um, you can also like if I just go back to the back to that you also have the little chromaticism like this uh, which you hear in uh, So the first concept of this live stream right now, and thanks for watching everyone, is just that basic major chord inversion. You hear it in this. Now let's go back to that C inversion. You have the C major pentatonic underneath that entire thing which is the same thing as the A minor pentatonic. So check it out. Just a C major chord. You have this underneath it. And so you can do single note stuff and play the C major pentatonic for the C chord. And then the B flat major pentatonic for that B flat. And then the F major for the F chord. So, but these are things that you combine all together, right? So here's just the major pentatonic for those three chords. C major. B flat. F.
And then also on the E route that has its own amazing Hendrix embellishment. And this is all in my new Hendrix course that's coming out soon. So sign my newsletter at martymusic.com to be notified when that is available. Um, just finished shooting it yesterday. Okay, so an E route. I'm not going to break it down all the way, but just just to show you, so far we have, you know, an A root bar chord, and we can substitute it with this. Right? But now on the E root version of that chord, it has its own embellishment that sounds like this. So now I have that as well. And obviously I break it way down in that new course, but.
All right. That was good enough. So, yeah. So, let's see. I'm trying to think of anything else. I Super busy. Got tons of new videos coming out. Uh, I can see most of your comments. Once again, there's a billion scams going on on YouTube currently. Uh, I've done a pretty clever job of blocking them. You know, I don't want to give it away. But obviously, this whole Telegram thing, if you guys heard of Telegram, you know, imposters say, hey, it's me. You just won something. Contact me on this other super sketchy thing. And then I'm going to send you a guitar. Oh, but by the way, you got to send me 50 bucks in shipping. And then that's the scam. You just sent them 50 bucks or 100 bucks or whatever. Just look for my blue check mark. Marty Music, blue check mark, you'll know. I'm not going to ask you ever to do something sketchy like that. So just look out. A million scammers out there. It's not just even one thing. It's all kinds. Uh, so just watch out for that. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Some quick shout outs. And by the way, TikTok, hope you had a good time. I couldn't see your comments, but thank you for watching as well as Instagram. Always appreciate you guys. If you do want to get a comment in, though, that I'll see, you can uh, watch this stream on YouTube and you'll, you'll have a better chance. Um, let's see here. Uh, uno qualunque. Nice. Herrick Pridemore, thank you. Kevin Liu. Uh, Dominic KS. Jojo Eng Aquino. Dwayne Campbell. Panda, the Paragon of Annoyance. Amy Gernhart. Um, well, there's some super chats here. Josh Norco, always a pleasure. And David Belote, thank you guys. So kind of you always. Uh, Tim Moore, may the Schwartz be with you as well, my friend. Ozzy Farrow, that's an old name. It's been watching me for a long, long time. A long time. Uh, Lieutenant Ruben Rose, Brian Meadows, Dominic KS again, Justin Elliott, Alan Ray, what's up? Matthew Howes, thank you for that. Joshua Cricket Singleton, West Virginia, shout out West Virginia. Does Slash have a Hendrix technique? Will you do a Slash technique? Well, one thing you can do is Slash rarely used his pinky, so... If you practice the pentatonic, but only use your, you know, index and ring finger, that's one thing right off the bat. Thanks, Randy Hozier. Uh, Bob Allman, super chat. Thank you so much, Bob Allman. I appreciate that. Uh, Stephen Perhamas. Uh, let's see. Thank you, David Belote. Appreciate that as well. Damian Shelton on Facebook. Thank you. Uh, Silvio S. Cordoso in Brazil. Love to Brazil. Love to Brazil. Uh, Derek Ronan. Thank you. I really appreciate the, the uh, kind words. Jimmy Greer. What's going on? Thank you uh, once again, everyone, for your kindness. Kenneth Reno, an astronomer. Thank you. Uh Ozzy Farrow, teasing himself and finally got a Les Paul. Good job. Anonymous Virus Gaming says his name's Marty Schwartz, too. Neither does Marcus King, and I love his music. I, uh, yeah, 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 I'm, I'm, I know Marcus King. We're working on some content. Uh, Jeremy Envid said, I'm late. How do I watch from the beginning? Jeremy, this is, thank you. Uh, Hem Lotto, thank you. Calling me grandpa. Uh, we'll appreciate that. Uh, oh, so if you wanted to 
if you wanted to watch this from the beginning, it's about to end. And once it ends, just refresh the page and you'll be able to watch it from the beginning. All right. Well, thank you again, guys. Really appreciate it. I should be around for another live stream next Saturday, and I'll keep you guys posted on updates. Once again, I uh, just finished shooting this Hendrix course, and if you sign my newsletter at martymusic.com, one, you'll get some free courses, but two, you'll also be the first to be notified when this new course is ready. I think it's going to be around 20 hours long, um, all just deep, deep dive into this was just the tiniest little salt crystal of compared to what I made in this new course. So anyway, thank you again. Hope you have a good one. And hopefully uh, those of you that are on Facebook and YouTube and you notice that the camera looks a little different. I got a new laptop and I'm just using the brand new laptops camera for for convenience. And I think it's I think. I think I'm pulling it off. I think it's working. So uh, feel free to request stuff, you guys, also in the comments. Watch out for scammers. I'm never going to ask you for shipping money. Uh, I don't have any giveaways going on right now, but if I did do a giveaway, I would never ask for your shipping money. Uh, that's it. We'll talk soon, everyone. Thank you.